A new warning tonight for anyone looking for adventure in southern Utah after a young man nearly drowns over the weekend. New special Slad Egan live for us right now with the incredible details of the bystanders who jumped into action here. What a story, lad. Yeah, Mike, just an incredible story here. And those who are on scene say that this man who slipped and fell into the water was very fortunate to have several people nearby who were off-duty first responders, trained in CPR, and who didn't hesitate to help. We started to develop a layer of moss that's incredibly slick. Gunlock Fire Chief Charlie Guthrie says it's been a busy spring of rescues at the waterfalls, including the latest that happened Sunday with a man in his 20s. He was in this area right behind us. He slipped, hit his head, and fell about 14 feet into a pot of water and then was submerged for some time because he was unconscious. I could see and hear people screaming, somebody fell, somebody fell. Las Vegas police officer Manuel Papazian was vacationing in southern Utah with his family. He watched a good Samaritan jump in, struggle against the current, and pull the unconscious man from the water. The man gives, him the, gives me the body, puts him on shore. Dude, I start chest compressions right away. Within seconds, an off-duty firefighter showed up at his side to assist with CPR. I get tired, another gentleman takes over, he starts giving chest compressions, hands him off to me, I continue chest compressions. He starts breathing, I look at him, and I'm just like, holy smokes, it worked. The fire department soon arrived and took over. The man was flown by helicopter to the hospital in critical condition. Chief Guthrie says when someone's not breathing, the first few minutes are critical. And it's sometimes more than four minutes for us to get our boots on and out of the, out of the station. So somebody on scene that, that can stop that clock and get some blood flow up to the brain and, and pump the heart for that individual, their chance of survival skyrocket. Sorry, it was pretty, it was uh, an emotional day. Papazian hit by strong emotions a day after helping save the man's life. He encourages everyone to learn how to perform CPR. But I teared on the way, uh, on the walk back to the car. Could have been me. Could have been me there. Could have been surrounded by people who didn't know what to do. And luckily in this case, uh, this victim was surrounded by people who did know what to do. You could just sense the emotion there for everybody involved in, in what happened yesterday in Gunlock. They credit all of the bystanders who helped out with this CPR. And the good news I can report tonight is that the man who's in the hospital is recovering, and I'm told that his condition is improving. I also talked with the manager of Gunlock State Park. Uh, he said that the falls are starting to fade as the runoff diminishes. But Mike and Dini, he says it's hard to predict exactly when they will stop flowing but while they while they are flowing he says this layer of moss that's developing is making it even more dangerous there so a fresh warning for everyone tonight yeah you got to be careful out there but uh, great people yeah. doing great things out there saved a life incredible all right thank you lad